Okay guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to spool a bait caster. Right here we have the Shimano Casitas. And I'm not gonna put any new line on it. I just got this reel, so I'm just gonna put some old junk line from my TS-1200. And just so I can cast it out, I'm not gonna put brand new line on a spool in the middle of winter, that would make no sense. So the first thing we're gonna start out with, we're just gonna pop this top off here. Pull out our spool. Then we're gonna run our line. We got our line right here, and we're just gonna run it through the front, right through the line guide there of the casitas. And then pull it through the side here. And then we're just gonna tie it straight onto our spool. Okay, so now that we've got the line through our spool, I'm just gonna do a regular fisherman's knot. Just gonna do like four or five turns. Okay, so now that we got our fisherman's knot, we're gonna wet it a little bit since it's sprayed. And we're just gonna run that down and tighten that on there. Make it nice and tight. You don't want it to be slipping at all. Okay, so now that we have that, now that we have that tied on, we're just gonna go ahead and clip our tag end. So now that we got our tag end clipped there, now we can just go ahead and run this back through. Just gonna stick the spool back into the casitas. Just like that. We're gonna pop our cover back on. Then we're gonna close our, our lid there. So now, so now that we've got that, all we're gonna do is just start winding it down. You wanna make sure it gets that nice even So you see how that's falling right on perfectly there. Just wanna spool that as much. Usually I like to leave like an eighth of an inch free, like from the top of the spool there. Uh, I like to leave that free because if you leave it, if you leave your line up too high, if you put too much line on there, it will actually not cast well. It will actually affect your casting distance. So you wanna get it just right, but this is old line, so I'm just gonna wind this in fast. It shouldn't take too long because this is a seven to one gear ratio. 32 inches of line per crank, so that's pretty, it's pretty significant if you're looking for a fast, fast retrieve reel, this will bring your bait in pretty quick. Okay, so now I got I had a fluorocarbon leader on there, so it turned into fluorocarbon there. And 
and that is it. So now you just clip your tag end, and you are all set. You will have a brand spanking new spool. Well, obviously this is old line, but you have a fresh spool on there. If you're ready to use new line, and you're ready to go out and fish and catch some big ones. So thanks for watching, guys. Give it a like if you found this useful. Um, yeah, comment if you have any more questions, and good luck out, out there on the water. Peace.